Another feature that you can use to enhance the playback of your score is live playback. Live playback only becomes available to you if you've inputted notes using a MIDI keyboard. So using FlexiTime, basically. And the way it works is as follows. It's located on the Play tab, and then it's there. I've got it turned off just now, so you can see my score. And when I play it, it will sound exactly as you expect it to sound. Now that's great for me because I'm not a piano player, as you're going to hear in a wee second. <laughs> but if I turn live playback on, what it will now play back, nothing changes on the score, but what it will play back is exactly what I played and the way I played it. So have a listen to this now. Now that's not ideal from my point of view because I'm not a piano player. However, if I was, and I was using a full-size keyboard, or even a larger keyboard than the Keystation Mini 32 that I'm using, that could very probably sound a lot better. And of course you have control over it. In the live playback group, you have the Velocities button. I'm going to press that, all these wee blue bars appear. And each of these is the velocity, i.e. the volume, for each of these notes. I'll just zoom in a wee second so I can see what I'm looking at. So each of these is an individual volume for each of the notes underneath them. Let me just move this down a wee bit so it's easier to see for the bass clef. And they're adjustable. So I can take, for example, that one there if I want, and drag it up, drag it down, I can make it right almost at the top, so it's a nice big accent on there, and I can do the same for, let's say, this one here. And let's say I want these two to be louder as well. So now when I play it, you can hear the difference that that makes. So you can control the live playback, you can edit it afterwards, but it's always better if you're a piano player, if you're a keyboard player, to make the flexi time input as accurate as you can and make it the way you want it to sound. Because Sibelius will notate it accurately, but using live playback, you can make it sound the way you want it to sound as well. So it doesn't sound quite as computery, it sounds a bit more human, for example. The transform dialog again lets you adjust things to do with live playback. And you can see here what you can adjust the live durations, how long they lasted, so you can say I want everything to be slightly shorter or slightly longer than I put it in. You can mess around with all these different options, and the velocities, the volumes, you want everything to be louder than you put it in, or how much louder or quieter. You can adjust the crescendos and diminuendos, how loud they start when they finish, how loud they finish, and you can scale the whole dynamic range, so you can decide the minimum velocity, the, the quietest you will play, you can set that as a percentage or as a, a figure between one between zero and a, and 127. And the maximum, you can adjust that as well. So you've got control over it. But in the real world, what you tend to do is to try and get it as accurate as you can when you're actually inputting the notes in the first place. So that's live playback. <laughs>